Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a, another empties beauty related video. Another rare occasion where I am filming before I leave to go to work. Uh, I have about an hour to kill and I got ready early and I wanted to just come on and say hi and film for you guys. So I have a bunch of packet empties, like little like packet little samples and a bunch of like little things. It's not going to be an exciting, you know, insane amount of empties today, but um, I have quite a few things that I wanted to go over and decide whether I want to repurchase it or not and give you my little feedback on some products. So yeah, let's just get into the video. I feel like every empty video that I have, I always have contact solution, but I did switch for any of you uh, who wear contacts. I have been loving the BioTrue uh, contact solution by Bosch and Loam. Um, I just feel like this is so much better than the AccuView contact solution that I've been using. I switched brands. I'm now using Air Optics. This is totally like unrelated to any beauty topic. Um, but I really like this, and I would definitely be repurchasing it. Um, that's that. So exciting, right? Contact solutions. Eye beauty. I mean, I guess it kind of relates. Anyway, moving on. I have this. This is the Snowberry Gentle Foaming Hand Soap by Beth and Body Works. I wasn't really a fan of this one. This is the foaming one. It kind of tasted... Tasted. Hello. It kind of smelt um, like a fake berry scent. It wasn't refreshing at all. It wasn't that pleasant. I kind of regret purchasing this. This was one of the scents from the uh, Black Friday sale um, this past Christmas. So yeah, I'm not a fan of this and I won't be repurchasing this. I'm on now a candy cane scent that I'm kind of on the fence about. But uh, I do like the foaming uh, hand soaps much better than the regular hand soaps. But that's that. Nothing that exciting. Okay, so one thing that took me kind of forever because I go back and forth between many, many different skincare products. I'm trying to find a, uh, a skincare regimen and film one for everyone, for you guys. But this is the Puri Face Wash by Philosophy. A little sample size and I'm not sure if I'm going to purchase this because I find that some other cleansers that I'm using at the moment are way better than this. It is nice and gentle. I really did like it for removing my makeup. I find that I didn't really clean my face the best that I wanted it to be. But the sample size is a good one. I did use it too a couple times with my Clarisonic. Um, but yeah, it was it was it was okay. I give it like a C plus in my another book. product that I really really enjoyed, and I'm actually working on another one is the Skin and Co. Truffle Therapy Serum, which looks like this. I get these in my Ipsy bag or glossy box. I always forget, but I really did enjoy this. It had a really nice smooth consistency. I didn't really essentially. Um, feel that it cleared my skin in any way, but it made my skin really, really nice and soft. Pop this on, let it really sink in for at least two, three minutes, and then I put my moisturizer on. But this I really did enjoy, and I'm working on a backup right now, and I really like it. One thing, thang, one thing, one thing that took me forever to go through kind of sad but I'm kind of happy at the same time that it's over <laughs> um, is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Coconut Lime which looks like this. This is a body sugar scrub. Now I am a sucker for anything that is coconut scented. This one is it smelled so amazing. I'm obsessed with the body butter of this brand of the Coconut Lime scent. But I have to say, the scrub kind of just like went away. It felt like it just kind of, it's like, I'm, I was like rubbing it in and everything. And I'm like, no wait, stay on my arm. It was just, it, it kind of like bothered me. I'd wish it was a little bit thicker in consistency. So if you guys have any recommendations on a really good 
thick body scrub. Please let me know in the comments down below. I have nothing at the moment, so I'm really in the market for a really good thick body scrub. Probably something coconut scented, but I'm not really that picky, but I want it to be way more thicker because you can kind of see how it's kind of liquidy and that's not really what I want. It just kind of went away and that's that. This Bioderma product, I'm so sad that it is over and I would 100% recommend it, 100% repurchase it. This is the Bioderma, um, I forget the exact name of it, Solutions, something, something, something. It looks like this. This is a cleansing water, which is absolutely clear. It literally looks like water. I am like kind of proud of myself for using the entire bottle. I bought this on Amazon, I want to say over, I want to say over a year ago or whatever, maybe even more than that. Uh, and all I pretty much do is when I'm sometimes a little lazy, when I come home at, when I come home from work uh, at the end of the night, I just pop some on a little cotton round, work it all in, no need to rinse it off, and my makeup is off my skin. That's exactly what I want a product to do, and this definitely does deliver. I will definitely be repurchasing this once I uh, go through my Marsala, Marsala, Marsalis, whatever the name is called, the simple one. I really, really love this. I don't have to worry about rinsing it off uh, because sometimes I'm way too tired and I, I really love it. I believe it is a, the Biodrama brand is not sold in the United States. I believe it is a French brand or UK brand. I'm not exactly sure on that, so don't quote me on that. Um, but I did get mine on Amazon, and it wasn't that expensive. It was like under 20 bucks. So for a big bottle like this, I feel like it's definitely worth it. And I definitely want to get myself a two-pack. I know they have two packs of them on Amazon.com. So definitely will be repurchasing that. Little perfume sample that I went through, and I actually really enjoyed. Sometimes perfume perfume samples in um, like those glossy box and empty bags I'm not a fan of but this one I really did enjoy and I actually obviously used the whole thing this is um, by English Laundry it's called Signature and let's see it has a fresh floral with a little bit of hint of a musk to it and musk is something that I really really enjoy a lot of my perfumes in my collection have that heavy musky scent I can't do floral it gives me a headache but this one I really did enjoy Ugh, it's like kinda like girly but sexy in a way I really did enjoy this if I can find a uh, full size of this or if I get my hands on another travel size I will definitely uh, be your person you can kinda see how there's like a little little bit left Let's see if I can try and spray a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that's the very end of it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. So that's that. Now on to... I have a bunch of little packet samples. And... Okay, there's a bunch here. Ah, as I drop them all. So one uh, little travel sample pack um, is the Neutrogena Naturals Purifying Makeup Remover Towelette cleansing towelettes. These are the, uh, I guess you would say, the more natural brand, well, naturals of the entire Neutrogena line. However, I wasn't really a fan of these. I did keep them at my boyfriend's house and I was using them and using them. There's only really, I think, 10 in here. I wasn't so much a fan. It, they dried out very quickly and I felt like I... They didn't really remove the the best that it could be. The regular line is so much better. Um, I wasn't really a fan of these, so won't be repurchasing this. The regular brand, the regular like the blue and the purple and the dark blue pack are much much better. These did not really deliver, so that's gone. That's out of here. Another uh, makeup remover that I have is the Studio 35, um, the one that is comparative to the Neutrogena ones, which are pretty much like, I think, half the price. These I really did enjoy. I believe they were buy one, get one half off. They feel exactly the same as the Neutrogena ones, half the price. 
I would definitely be repurchasing them. I find that sometimes, depending on what goes on sale, I will go for either or because these are literally the exact same thing. So whatever one's on sale, I always, you know, stock up. What else I have? I have, let's see, these I actually got in my gratis bag at work. And these are the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Extra Strength Formula. So these are peel pads. So you have a step one and a step two. The step one, you pretty much, it's a little teeny tiny little square towelette. And it pretty much removes all the gunk and the grime and the disgustingness off the surface of the face. Feels so good. It feels like you're really cleansing and getting a nice deep clean on the skin. You wait for it to dry a couple seconds. I kind of just like fan myself. And then you do the step two, which is the deeper treatment which is kind of like a conditioning treatment, and I can't tell you how much I love this. Yes, it has my name on it. Again, I did get it in gratis at work, and I really, really love these. These are definitely um, the type of product where if you're looking for a really good deep clean of the skin, I would 100% recommend this brand. I have two of the... Skylin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. I have two of them. I believe I got them, again, in my glossy box or ipsy bag or whatever bag. Um, well, the only two that I have, but whatever. Um, I've been getting really into facial masks and eye masks. And these are just kind of the ones where you, um, they have like a little coated, like they're all coated. And I don't know if you could see it, but they look like that and sometimes late at night I am you know awake and I want to kinda hydrate my under eyes I really have horrible under eye not bags but dark circles and these are really nice and cooling and firming they make my makeup and concealer go on so much easier I really really like the one product that I did not like because it fell off my eyes is just another brand called Earth Therapeutics Hydro Gel Under Eye Recovery Patch Antioxidant Skin Defense blah 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 has like you know a whole bunch of like good ingredients but every time I go to pop it on they just like fell off my eyes like I couldn't even like talk with them on um I didn't like these I didn't really feel like it does a good job um comparing it to the Sky Iceland brand I did get this in, I want to say, TJ Maxx. The brand is a good brand. I mean, it does have a lot of good antioxidants like vitamin C, aloe vera, cucumber, uh, green tea. But the patch itself wasn't the greatest. It fell off my eyes. Did not like it. Second to last product that I have for my empties is the Sesha Skin Therapy Botanical Hydro Mask for all skin types and these this is one of those uh, sheet mask thingies where all of the um, product is infused in the towel lot and it's a sheet mask pretty much and I have again been getting into sheet masks and I feel like it's one of those masks where it's like you know really boosting up the moisture that my skin is screaming for I mean, it is, you know, hot where I live, uh, Long Island. It's summertime. My skin's very oily, but I feel like I'm always needing moisture back into my face. So this uh, brand is really good. I really did enjoy it. I would definitely repurchase um, more of these, maybe in, like, different scents or whatever, because this one just says for all skin types. So, yeah, I really did enjoy this. The last product that I am on the hunt to buy myself a full size, um, I think I got this in Target. There's a beauty advisor in Target that I'm like starting to become friends with because I'm legit in Target every other weekend. And like I think we're like on a first name basis now and she always comes up to me, she gives me free samples and she's like the coolest girl ever. And she actually used to work in Sephora too so she knows how retail life is. So she gave me a free sample of the Shea Moisture Superfruit Complex 10-in-1 Renewal System Hair Mask. That's a mouthful. Looks like this. I can't tell you how much I love this mask. It is, there's a whole bunch of claims on the back of it. I don't know if you could see that. And I fully believe every one of them. 
I have mentioned on my channel that I have color, uh, not color treated, I'm sorry, chemically treated hair. So the ends of my hair are very dry and very damaged. I'm trying to go on like a healthy hair care journey and I feel like this mask is super beneficial for damaged hair. I really need to go find the full size of it and buy 20 of them because this mask made my hair so soft. I can't get over how soft it made my hair. I really couldn't get over it. Um, it made my hair so much easier to blow dry because I do blow dry my hair and I do flat iron my hair and once in a while I will curl my hair and this just made my hair just insanely soft. This is one of those products where it's like where have you been all my life type of product. So that is that. Those are all my empties. Quick and easy. Was nothing too crazy. I really hope you guys enjoy. Please make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Follow me too on all my social media. I have everything linked down below. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr. And most of all, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.